Good morning, everyone. We are having some difficulties, technical difficulties on Zoom. But look at my outfit. Today is Christmas themed class. It is Christmas edition, and I am going all out. I hope you are too, and uh, surprised if you are part of our Facebook community today, and you are watching this. Surprise! Uh, we you should don't do this. We should do this class on Zoom, but today we're having difficulties. So you know what? It is Sunday and it is Christmas time. So why the heck not? What? Since I can't see any of you, I'm gonna get you to at the end of class post your selfie so that I can see your outfit. I cannot be the only one dressed up with that uh, Christmas stuff. So, anyways. We're gonna do a little bit of a stretch and core type of class. It's gonna be super low impact. What some people would call this, this is gonna be a class for lazy people. It is Sunday, it is the holiday, so we're just gonna get moving. The whole point of today is just to get moving and uh, to work on that core. I don't even have my timer because my phone is on the light today, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work, okay? We are improvising today big time. So, we're gonna actually start on our backs. So, I hope you guys can hear me. So, we're gonna start on our backs. I cannot see anyone or any comments, so don't even bother. Just hop on and uh, let's do this. We won't really need any weight. Um, so, we're gonna start body weight. So, we're gonna start on our back. We're gonna start on our back. We're gonna hug those knees in nice and tight. So, take a big breath. Inhale through your nose. And then as you exhale, bring that right leg all the way to extension and keep that left leg all the like left feet towards your chest and press it in towards your chest. And then take an inhale here. And then we're gonna exhale, bring that left knee all the way to the right side, gaze to your left. Hold for three here, hold for two, hold for one, bring yourself back to center. Now let's switch sides. Left, right comes in, left comes out. Squeeze that uh, right knee in towards your chest. Take an inhale through your nose. And then we're gonna bring that right knee all the way to the left side, gaze to the right. Hold for three. Feel the stretch in your spine for two. And one. Back to center. We're gonna both bring both legs up. We're gonna grab onto those toes. And then we're gonna go for a happy baby. So we're gonna really get those hamstrings stretching. So, from here, you're, you can stay here or we're gonna rock side to side to release that lumbar spine, your lower spine, your upper glutes. For three, for two, don't worry, I have shorts underneath my dress, for <laughs> one. And we're gonna grab behind your knees, behind your thighs, and we're gonna go and rock ourselves back and forth, back and forth for three, for two, and one. We're gonna go into a seated position. Roll the shoulders for three, for two, and for one. Now that man for three, for two. Tall spine for one. We're gonna bring those legs up. We're gonna go start with some wood choppers here. Okay, so we're gonna bring that torso back a little bit. So lean back. So just by leaning back, your core is already activated. Shoulders retracted. We're gonna bring our hands together, and we're gonna go two chops on one side, center. Two on the other. So right for two, left for two. Right for two, left for two. Let's go. Right for two, left for two. Right for two, left for two. Gotta make sure I'm still live here. I can't see anything. The light is really bright. So left, right. Let's go for 10 more. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, I look so ridiculous in this outfit. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna bring it all the way back to center. Hands behind your head. We're gonna go for crunches. All the way for crunches. Let's go. We're gonna go for 20, 19, 18, 17. Little crunches. 16, 15, 14, 13. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, stay with me, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, bring yourself 
back down, legs are up. We're gonna go one leg only, one leg only. Back and up and down for 20, 19, 18, 17. If you have ankle weights, it's a really great chance to put them on. If you have ankle weights, go for it. Take advantage of them. 15, 14, 13. I hope you're doing this with me. 12, if you're watching, I hope you're doing it with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 12, these are Christmas, it's almost over. 5, 4, 3, 2, and other side of the way. If you want a little more challenge, lift your hips and shoulders. Also, if you're feeling your lower back a lot, you can lift your hips and shoulders, that might help. 19, 18, let's go team. 16, 15, 14, 13, almost there. 12, 11, 10, 9, stay with me here, 8, that chorus of fire, 7, 6, we're not done here, 5, stay with me, 4, 3, 2, all right, we're going to stay up here, stay up here, both legs out, and up, I know it's burning, let's go, 20, come on, Woo, that chorus of fire, 19, 18, 17, stay with me, 16, 15 left, Woo. 14, how's that core feeling, 13, 12, 11, stay with me, 9, 8, holy cow, 7, we got this, we're going to go into a kneeling position after this, 6, 5, how's that core feeling, 4, Three, two, and recover. Well done, have those knees. All right. Drink some water if you need to. I need to drink water because I need to drink gallon shit. And if I don't get water now, it won't happen. All right. We're going to go for our, our hands and knees. So we're going to go into our knees. Sorry. We're going to do some wood chips body weight. So we're going to go left leg in front. So we're kneeling onto our right leg, so left leg in front. We're gonna bring both arms parallel and we're gonna go, we're gonna swing and lunge. So we're gonna really stretch that right hip flexor. So we're gonna go swing and every time we come up, we lunge forward. Let's go. Bring it out. Let's go for 10. If that person is pain in your knee, you can bring a cushion or something to like bring a support. Nine, eight, seven. Six, this dress is too hot. Five, four, three, two. All right, we're gonna stay down. We're gonna stay down. Bring your hands down. Left, sorry, right hand on the floor. Low lunge here. We're gonna open up that right side. Open up. Big open. Pull for three. Pull for two. And bring yourself back to center. Hips all the way back. Feel that hamstring stretch here. Uh, chest forward. Try to touch the ground with those toes. Hold for three. Hold for two. And one minute we're going to back to center. We're going to go into a child's pose. So knees are out. Heels or toes to touch. Hips back. Forehead to the floor. Arms in front of you. And hold. For three. Big, big stretch here. Feel those lats. Everything behind you. For, for three. For two, we're going to walk our fingertips all the way to one side and really stretch that left rib cage, team. Really stretch that left rib cage. Hold for three. Hold two. And walk it all the way to the other side now. All the way. Three. Two. And back to center. Let's do the other side. So we're going to go right side now. In front. Right side in front. We're going to go for wood chops. Ready? So we're gonna go diagonally and forward. 10, nine, eight, push your hips forward, seven, six, five, four, let's go, Woo. three, two, and one, stay forward, bring your hands down, Left hand down, right open, so big open. Hold for three, hold for two, 
Hold for two. And center. Let's go back and feel that right side hamstring stretch. Chest forward. Grab into the toes and reach for the toes for three. For two. One. All right. We're going to shift to your four. So I'm going to do some spinal work here. So onto your fours. This dress is awesome. Five right here. All right. We're going to uh, arch that back. So we're going to pretend that you have a, a, um, a string pulling down your belly button. And we're going to really pull it down to the floor. Stick your bum out. Arch your back. Crown your head facing up. Retract the shoulders. Hold here. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, we're going to round the back. Tuck that pelvis in. And exhale. Chin to your chest. Again. Big arch. Inhale. And push. Exhale. Again. Inhale, push all the way. And then push the floor away from you. Exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. That, felt, that should feel really good, especially in the core that we just did so much right now. One more. We're going to go back to core though. Inhale. And then exhale. Exhale. Back to the We're going to tuck our toes under. We're going to go up for a downward facing dog. We're going to pedal those legs. Left and right. So really feel those hamstrings. So all the posterior chain. So everything on your glutes, the hamstrings, and the even calves. For three. For two. We're going to take that right leg. Right leg up. Right leg up without shifting your, your hips. Right leg up. We're going to go all the way in. In towards your chest. And out. Exhale. Inhale. No. Exhale. Sorry. Inhale here. Exhale. Come on. There you go. Inhale. Exhale. For five. For four. For three. Let's go, you guys. For two. And drop it to the pigeon. Drop it to the pigeon. Drop it to the pigeon wherever you want. If you are, if your hip flexor on your left side is, is tight. Stay up so you're stretching it. If your right glute is tight, bring it down. Whatever your body is telling you, asking you for today. Hold here. Bring it down to a pigeon because we're going to hold this for a couple of seconds here. I'm going to put my timer onto that. We don't lose time. We don't, uh, yeah, we don't lose time here. So stay down here. Just, just put your hands down, forehead to the floor. We go so hard every single day. We put our bodies and muscles through so much stress that it's okay to let go, to work on breathing, a breath work, uh, core, flexibility, mobility, make, give some love to those joints, right? So forehead to the floor and take a few breaths here. Take a few breaths. Five more seconds. Four seconds. Three, two, and bring yourself back up if you're not there already. Tuck your back toes under. We're going to go back to your downward facing dog. We're going to clear that out. So put all those toes. Put all those legs. Sorry. Left and right. And we're going to lift the left side this time. And bring it in towards that chest. Squeeze. Out. Let's go for a five. Squeeze. Four. Squeeze. Big squeeze. Three. Woo. Two. Give me one more. One more. And we're going to go into that pigeon again. Pigeon on your left side this time. Pigeon pose here. Your choice is stay up here or you can bring your chest forward. And we're gonna hold here for about 45 seconds. So just stay with me here. Bring the chest forward. Whew. Bring the chest forward. Take a deep breath through your nose. And exhale. 45 seconds here. So just work on those joints. Focus, what are you stretching right now? What are you feeling? Let's go 10 more seconds here. Stay with me. Feel everything in your pelvis. Relaxing. Three, two, and rest. We're going to bring yourself back to a butterfly. So we're going to bring the, both, the bottom of our feet together, knees out. We're going to grab onto our ankles and squeeze it together, shoulder blades back. Core is Strong. We're going to take a deep breath in through our nose. And then exhale, bring it all the way down. Feel everything around your, uh, around your um, hips. Everything. Glutes, inner thighs, hip flexors. Hold for three. Hold for two. And one. We're going to go all the way to center. We're going to go back to that core here. So you can go 
body weight, you can grab a weight, it's up to you. I'm gonna go for body weight here. So, we're gonna go feet up and we're gonna crunch up. So whenever you're ready, join me. Crunch up for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, let's go, 13, 12, 11, 10, stay with me, legs nice and high, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, stay up, stay up, 2, alright, we're going to extend, all the way, extend and squeeze together, all the way, bring it all the way to extension, if you need to modify, bend those legs, tap those heels down and up, whatever you're feeling today, whatever spice you're needing today, okay? Nine, eight, squeeze, seven. We're almost done. Only three, about three more minutes. Stay with me. 25 minutes today. That's it. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to relax that neck for a second and for, a little, for just a little bit. We're going to bring our hands behind our head. Right leg extends and crunch. Right leg. If you want a little extra, keep that left leg extended. So that core is on the entire time with a little bit extra oblique here. Ten. Nine. So it's up to you. Eight. Seven. Stay with me here. Six. Squeeze. Five. Four. Three. Two. Other side. Right, right. Don't. No break. No break. No break. Let's go. Ten. Nine, holy cow. Eight, holy cow is right. Seven, stay with me. Six, five, four, three, two. All right, team, relax for a second here. Feet down to the floor. We're gonna go and drop both knees to the right side. Feel everything around those hips, those quads, and back to center, other side, all the way. So we are doing our windshield wipers side to side. So really drop both knees to one side, center, other side. Again, right side. Just go as slow as you need to. Really feel every muscle. This is the, your opportunity to really connect with your body. We are trying to move the, the joints. Our joints get so stiff and very fragile with the cold weather. And it is really easy. It, we're all prone to injuries when the winter's here because, again, our joints are just so cold. And when we go into a workout and we don't do proper warm-up, okay, we don't warm up the body enough, it can be very dangerous because we're, we're stiff, right? We're not ready. We have to send signals to our muscles that we're ready. All right, bring yourself back to center. Back to center. We're going to go rock all the way back and forth into a seated. We're going to meet me in a down, uh, in a down uh, chest pose, sorry. So we're going to go rock it all the way back and forth for three. Meet me in a chest pose when you're ready for two. And into a chest pose whenever you are ready. So get to the chest pose. All right. From a chest pose. We're gonna go all the way to our stomach, all the way to our bellies. And then we're gonna go for a cobra. So we're gonna stretch our belly. So elbows in, tucked in towards your rib cage. Look at my dress, my goodness. And then we're gonna push our, our chest up. If your elbow, like you can go on your elbows. If this is enough, you stay here. If you want a little more of a stretch, we're gonna bring yourself chest all the way up. Retract the shoulders, shoulders away from the ears, soften those knees, those knees, those, your elbows a little bit. Take an inhale for me. And then exhale, bring it all the way down. Again, inhale up. And then stay here as you exhale. You might really feel everything in your lower back here. It's normal. Unless it's causing you pain, just go lower. Inhale again. And this time we're going to go back to our knees and child's pose and exhale. Give me that big exhale in your child's pose. Back to our forced hands and knees. We're going to bring our right arm all the way out. And we're going to grab, try to go be behind our back as far as we can to really push our shoulder blade back. 
And then from here, we're gonna go for a flip the needles. We're gonna drive that right shoulder all the way to the floor, all the way to the floor, and try to look up. Look up, face up. I don't know if you guys can hear me, so just I, I will face the screen, but all the way, press that shoulder down as far as you can. Hold for three, hold for two, and center, other side. So left arm all the way open up. Same thing, bring that arm all the way behind you. And then when you're ready, arm up, and bring it through, shoulder down, and then knees up. Hold three. You should really feel the rotation in your pelvis, like your trunk is really rotating here. For two. And for one, bring yourself back to your forced hands and knees. We're gonna go sit onto those heels. We're gonna sit into those heels. We're gonna take a deep breath in through our nose, arms come up. Grab into your left wrist and pull to your right. Inhale back to center, grab to your right, and exhale. Back to center, bring your hands behind you, interlace them together. Interlace your hands together. Chest all the way forward, arms away from the body. Bring it on, you guys. All the way, give it a big stretch. Three, two, and center, arms to your hands and to your uh, hips. Take an inhale, big inhale. And exhale, you guys. This is a really quick one and a very improvised class. But thank you for joining me. If you join me, you got some a little bit of a Sunday movement. Nothing too, too, too crazy. So this, this is perfect for everyone. Or if you're having a lazy Sunday morning, this is perfect. It doesn't take too. It doesn't take long or a big effort to do a um, just to move the body, right? I can't see anyone that is on here right now, unfortunately. And I can't see your outfits. It, this, it's a Christmas themed class, and, and uh, you guys only get to see my outfit. Uh, I'm just kidding, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up, and then tomorrow we're gonna have to uh, do our giveaway because I can't see you guys. And this is we was much needed today. Yay! Yeah, so today is day 10 of our 12 days of Christmas. So we've been doing 10 days in a row, which is awesome. But we also need to take care of our bodies, our joints, our muscles, and ligaments. So it was much in a stretch. Much in a stretch. I agree. I'm actually gonna go for an actual hot yoga class today to like really, really stretch it out because I think we all need it once away. Okay, team, I will see you live tomorrow. We got two more days. Monday and Tuesday for our 12 days of Christmas. This whole thing of uh, the 12 days of Christmas was meant to get you guys going, get you guys moving uh, for the holidays. So I hope this helped. Uh, do we take ignition? No, I would only take uh, Formula One and ignition. So I post work and recovery set after strength and resistance training. Um, unless you really feel like your core is really, really... Uh, Sore, go for it. But I, I personally wouldn't. Um, all right, team. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Uh, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow when we'll do our giveaway. We'll do two giveaways tomorrow.